How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. In this video we're going to do a get home bag update and I'm going to show you everything that I keep in mind. All right guys, now some of you guys that have been with us from the beginning know that one of our very first videos on YouTube was a get home bag or bug out bag. Now it's been about seven years since we did that and some things have definitely changed. We're gonna talk about what the purpose of a get home bag is and I'm gonna break down the entire bag and show you everything that I have in it. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Now let's talk real quick about the main difference between a bug out bag and a get home bag. They're two completely different concepts. A bug out bag would be designed for when you're bugging out, when you're leaving home and going to somewhere else. I don't want to do that. Home is where the majority of my supplies are. That's where I'm most prepared. So that's where I'm trying to get home to. And that's what I think really a get home bag is. It's, it's a bag that's designed to have everything you need to get you home in an emergency situation. Whether that be something as simple as your car breaks down in the middle of the night and your cell phone's dead and you need to trek it home, or maybe it's a natural disaster or all out SHTF. Now most people on their daily life probably don't go outside of a 30 mile radius from their home. And I fall into that category most of the time, but I do travel a lot throughout the year. And I'm not going in and constantly changing and adding things to my get home bag. I built this bag out to benefit me no matter how far away I am from home, whether it be two miles or 200 miles. But I think that's enough talking. Let's get in here and take a look at the bag. Now, one thing that has changed since my previous video is where I keep my get home bag. I'm no longer keeping it inside my vehicle because it just takes up too much room. I have two small kids and I just don't have room for it. Now I'm keeping it back here in the bed of the truck. Now, for those of you that are wondering what this box is that I'm keeping my get home bag in, this is a heavy duty storage case from Front Runner. I love this because it's the perfect size to fit underneath my toolbox so it's not taking up a lot of bed space and it's very rugged and heavy duty. If you want to get one like this, I will have a link to that as well as everything else we're about to look at in the bag in the description below. Now first, let's take a look at the bag. This is the Atlas 12 hour pack from LA Police Gear. This is a very heavy duty, high quality backpack at a very affordable price. The Atlas 12 hour has laser cut molly all the way around. And the overall size of the bag is about 18 inches high, 13 inches wide, and about 10 inches deep. I really think this pack is a perfect size for a get home bag. It's big enough to carry just about everything you need, but it's not too big. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything we have on the outside of the bag first. If we flip this around and you can see first thing I have here on the strap, just a flashlight, nothing special, just a good 600 lumen flashlight. And here on the other strap is my Leatherman Sidekick multi-tool. I like having these here on the straps because it's nice and quick to get to. You also notice the hose for my water bladder is routed through the straps here as well. And also here on the back of the bag, you have a flat zipper pouch that goes all the way around here. Inside of that, I just have a waterproof map of my state and a Premier Body Armor panel. This is a 3A ballistic panel from Premier Body Armor. This is rated to stop pistol calibers up to 44 Magnum. I have done a full review on this backpack panel. I'll put a link to that right here at the top of the screen. This is the 11 by 16 and a half inch panel and it fits perfectly inside this pouch. Here on this side, you'll see I do have a pouch for a water bottle, but I do not have the water bottle in it. The only reason for that is because with the water bottle inside the pouch, it didn't fit inside of my storage case here. So the water bottle's inside the bag and in a situation where I needed it, I would take the water bottle out and stick it right here just to make a little extra room inside the bag. Now let's go ahead and get to the inside of the bag. Let's start out here with this front pouch. This is a decent sized pouch, has a lot of organizational pockets and things like that. It has another pocket here on the front and a couple of lanyard loops here on the sides. Inside this pouch, I have some spare sunglasses, a small first aid boo-boo kit with some band-aids and different medications and things like that. In this small pouch, I have just a small hand sanitizer 
and sunscreen and chapstick. Here on one of the lanyard loops, I have a retractable keychain with an emergency whistle on it. This has a compass, a thermometer, the whistle, and a magnifying glass. Here inside these smaller pockets, have a right in the rain notepad, laminated card here that I'm not going to show you, but it just has some emergency contacts on it in case I needed that. Over here, I have one of those little LED glow lights from Night Eyes. Uh, this would be great if I was traveling at night and I did want to be seen. I could strap this to the outside of my bag here if I'm walking down the side of the highway or something like that. And just for a little redundancy, I have another small flashlight. Now, except for the one on the strap, I don't keep the batteries in any of these because I don't want them getting corroded and going bad. So I just have the batteries separate in the bag. A little further down in this pouch, I also have a small New Testament Bible. Give me a little reading material, keep my hopes up in the type of situation that I might need this bag. Over here on the other side, I have a big lighter, a regular Sharpie and pen. A small bug repellent here in the south. This is a must. Down in here, I also have some hot hands. Then back here in the back pouch, I have a small knife sharpener and a pocket knife. Nothing special, but it does have a regular blade and a serrated blade on it. Have a couple zip ties. And then there's another zipper pouch here. So if we open that up in there, I have an emergency poncho and a space blanket and some wet wipes. And that is it for this front pouch. Now moving up here to the top pouch, there's a small pouch here in the top. In there I have a bandana, a bug head net, an LED headlamp, and a pair of good mechanics gloves. Flipping the bag back around up here near the grab handle at the top, there is another small pouch. We'll go ahead and open that bad boy up. And in there, I just have a couple things. This is a rain fly for the bag, so if it starts to raining, I can cover the entire bag up with the rain fly. And also up here, I have a small pouch with a compass. Now going around to the main pouch here. One thing I love about this bag is that the main pouch is very large and it completely clamshells open. So you can see we have a lot of stuff going on here. I'm going to start here in the top of the lid. On this side, I've got a couple mesh pockets here. The top one I designate for more like electronics and stuff like that. So I have a Midland emergency hand crank radio and various cords to charge different devices and things like that. This is a very small power bank. It has just enough power in it to charge my phone twice. Then I have a small pouch here with different sizes of batteries for different electronics and my flashlights and things like that. Going down into the next pouch, this is a little bit more random. I have the different components here for my Sawyer water filter. These things are great. You can filter up to 100,000 gallons with this. It also comes with a small water bottle that you can fill up to drink from. Also have some survival playing cards. This is just a little something to keep morale up. These also have lots of handy survival tips and things like that on them. And they'll give my kids something to do if they happen to be with me. I have a small roll of duct tape, a small sewing kit, a ferrocium rod and striker, and a couple of small fire starters. This is a wet fire and this is a cube for my Esbit stove. Now moving on over to the main stuff here. First pouch you see here, I have, have a couple mountain house meals stuffed in here along with different drink powders and instant coffee, salt and peppers and things like that down in here. Below that, I have some pouches of emergency drinking water. Now I do wanna caution you, if you're gonna put something like this in your bag, you probably wouldn't wanna leave it in there during the winter if the bag is gonna stay in your vehicle. I have just some plastic utensils and my Esbit stove. This is a great little way to cook. You just open her up here. It has the Esbit fuel cubes down in here. You just light one of those and sit your cooking cup on top to cook your food or boil water or anything like that. Now I have a couple different pouches here. Now the great thing about keeping stuff in these kinds of pouches is if I needed more room inside the bag, I could move these pouches to the outside of the bag and secure them with the molly on the back. First one here is my fire starting pouch. 
in here have a lot of different things. There's an emergency candle that has started to melt on me, but I think it'll still work. A regular Bic lighter, some Vaseline soaked cotton balls. Inside of here, I have some fat lighter wood. And in the top there is just a piece broken off of a fire starter brick. Over here on the side, I keep just a very small little knife. And then down in the bottom part of the pouch, uh, this is kind of an entire self-contained fire kit here. Inside of this little kit is just some stormproof matches, a wet fire, small big lighter, fair seam rod, some twine, and some fat lighter wood. The other pouch you'll see here is first aid. We'll have your average first aid stuff, some gauze, band-aids, things like that. Also have some new skin liquid bandage, some tweezers, a knife, emergency whistle, a SWAT T tourniquet, some shears. Uh, something I think a lot of people leave out is some of these Iosat potassium iodide tablets in case of a nuclear emergency. Uh, there's also a small compass and some safety pins and a small roll of duct tape down in here. I have a backpacking tarp. Uh, this is good for shelter if I need to stop for the night. Along with that, I also have a hundred foot of paracord and a couple contractor trash bags. I have one of these Fiskars folding saws for cutting wood and things like that, along with the Gerber survival knife. I really love this thing. This is going to make a pretty good all around knife. It's got serrations on one half of the blade, nice grip. You'll see it also has a little hammer here on the bottom along with an emergency whistle. Right here on the top of the blade you have a striker for the ferrocium rod that is housed here on the sheath. And then if you unstrap the sheath here on the back you have a knife sharpener. So this is really just a complete package. This is an all around survival knife that serves a lot of really good purposes. Again, I will link to this knife along with everything else in the description below. Also down in here, I have a bunch of zip ties, an SOL Escape Bivy. This is basically a sleeping bag. I have a monocular in here so I can see things at distance. I like a monocular for a bag like this rather than a binocular because it takes up less space. I also have the Sawyer water bottle. This is basically a Sawyer Mini inside of a water bottle. So you can put dirty water right into this and drink out of it safely. You also see down inside of here, I have some water purification tablets, have some Gatorade drink powder, some lemonade drink powder, and some instant coffee. And again, if I needed more room in the bag, I could take this bottle out and put it in the pouch here on the side of the bag. I have a small camp cup here this is good for drinking out of cooking in all kinds of things and of course some toilet paper because when nature calls you're gonna wish you had this and then we have this back pouch back here now i got a couple things in here one is a full change of clothes socks underwear pants shirt and hat all sealed here in this bag in case i'm caught in the rain or for the off chance that i'm not dressed properly for the conditions that i find myself in i have a full change of clothes here and here in the very back i have a two liter water bladder it is empty right now and i would fill it if i needed to all right guys now that is it for my get home bag i know this was a long video but we had a lot of stuff to go over here now at this point there's probably a lot of you that are thinking i'm crazy and i couldn't possibly need all this stuff and there's probably some of you guys that think i don't have what i need so let me know what you think in the comment section below are there some things that i left out that you think i should have in the bag do you think i have too much stuff let me know in the comment section below but this bag is something that I keep in my truck 24 seven at all times, no matter where I am, whether I'm one mile from home or a thousand miles from home, this is going to be with me again, guys, I'm going to have links to everything you saw in this bag linked in the description below. So make sure you check those links out. Hope this video helped you out guys. If you have any other questions, make sure you let us know. And if you want to help support the channel, don't forget you can do that by joining us on Patreon. Uh, my Facebook got deleted randomly by Facebook, so I don't have that anymore, but stay tuned. I will be 
creating a new one soon. You can also find me on Rumble. Everything we post here on the Pilot Patriot channel is also over on Rumble. And if you didn't know, we do have an entirely different channel. It's a DIY channel. We do lots of woodworking and stuff very different than this. But if you like that kind of stuff, go check that out as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Stay prepared.